Please pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Are you one of the few people that have signed up for this year's big event? And don't go anywhere because Devin Fortenberry is wearing a dress, again. NHS TV starts right now. Attention all students, results are all in from your computer fund survey. Find out who you are compatible with by purchasing the results at all lunches this week in the Student Union. The results will have one within your grade level and one outside of your grade level. For one result, it's $2, and for both results, it's $3, so make sure to get them. HOSA will be having a meeting Thursday, March 7th from 4 to 5, discussing plans for the big event in Ron McDonald House. The meeting will be in Ms. Schneeman's room 814A. Also, Northwest Lights will be meeting Wednesday after school in room 300. All National Art Society members need to come to a meeting Thursday, March 21st at 8 a.m. in the lecture hall. For more information, make sure to check Net School. They do more than just dance on a football field. The Psychics have won two grand championship titles this season, and they are going for the title of national champions this Saturday at the Fort Worth Convention Center. The Psychics drill team will also be performing all their competition routines this Thursday at 6.30 p.m. in the Texan Gym. Guest performances include Texanets, Illmatics, NHS dance classes, and Dana's Studio of Dance. So make sure to come out. Admission to the show is $5. Last year, 800 people signed up for the big event, but this year, so far, we only have 200 people. Make sure to sign up as an individual or a group by going to the counseling website and clicking on the big event information link. If you have a club, organization, class, or group of people who you'd like to spend a day of service with, please sign up now. This year's big event is on April 6th, so sign up soon. Devin Fortenberry is crazier than ever with his partner in crime, Ross Ocampo, in this week's weekly update. <laughs> Welcome back from spring break and welcome back to the weekly update. And now for the tweets of the week. This comes from Carrie Gleason at Carrie Gleason13 and he asks, Harvey Dent, can we trust him? I believe in Harvey Dent. And this comes from Ross at Windbreakers SEA and he says, I'm going to hit you with a block of cheese. No, you're not, Ross. You're, you're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. And now time for some news. Spectators near Palm Beach, Florida witnessed a strange sight to see last week. Cops chasing a cop. Well, a cop car, but still. A deputy sheriff's son stole his father's patrol car. Seems like he took the game Grand Theft Auto a little too seriously. A Kentucky hospital became a home for a homeless man for a couple of days, but they did not do it voluntarily. The man dressed and pretended to be like a doctor. Cops arrested him once his cover was blown. This man should go into acting. His nickname should be Dr. House. <laughs> you may remember that a few of NHS TV's staff went to LA for a conference. Well, Ross and I were stuck here with no new ideas, so we had to brainstorm. Check it out. Uh, uh. Oh yeah. Here we go. In Northwest. Oh, no, no, no. No. We really gotta stop rapping. Why? We're too good. I know we're the best, but we can't rap it. Yeah, you're right. That was pretty bad. Yeah, it was. 
All right, so we got to come up with new ideas. Yeah. All right, so let's just brainstorm and shoot. Okay, so okay. walking in the hallway, me in the hallway, walking. I turn to my left. What do I see? I see you and a t-shirt, and it says life, and it looks strange. But then you pull out some lemons, and then you like toss them at me, like pegging me, you know? Like life gives you lemons. Except I'm tossing them at you? Yeah, like you're giving them to me, but you're pegging me. Well, I do like the idea, but how about instead of you just walking in the hallway, just as you? Yeah. You should be wearing a dress. No, no dresses. I, no dresses. Oh, okay. A Spider-Man costume. Okay. I With get... the dress. No. <sighs> all right. All right. All right. So you'll be wearing the dress over the Spider-Man costume, and then you'll be walking in the hallway, and then I'll be wearing the white shirt with life, with lemons, and I'll be pegging them at you. <laughs> I guess we'll try it. Dude, we'll, we'll try it, and we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the week, and may the good news be with you. Oh. So lesson learned, when life gives you lemons, make sure to duck. Stay tuned tomorrow for another episode of Chillin' with Childress. So with that, have a wonderful Wednesday, Texans.